Alrighty folks, as you may have seen before in HyperWorks post, we can create contours, vectors, tensors, all that good stuff, as well as free body diagrams. Um, the standard is to create individual free body section cuts with the force tool. However, we can also create a group of section cuts with the trace plot tool. Today I'll demo how to take those trace plot cuts and then create uh, VMT's shear moment torque plots in HyperGraph. To start, I'll import some results. Grab my OP2. And once those results are loaded, I can now create my trace plot. I'm going to first isolate the structure that I want to post process on. I'll just be looking at our mid body. To change to a shaded wire uh, wireframe, I'll Alt plus right click and go to a shaded elements. Now let's open the trace plot tool. Let's right click and create a new free body section group. I'll call this mid body. For our node path, I'll select these nodes along the upper ridge, making sure that I grab the center. Click once, zoom to the other side, holding the Alt key. This will allow me to select by path. And for our intersecting entities, I'll simply select all of these elements with Control A. I'll make zero cuts between the nodes. We'll cut in the nodal direction and define those with a global coordinate system. Our group is now defined. If we post-process on, for example, subcase one, I can plot my free body loads in, for example, FZ in direction three. And let's give it a good scale. And just so that we can see the inside there, I'll go back to wireframe. So this is a sort of a, a graphical view of our free body uh, summed at these nodes for this section. However, this is, uh, it's really only applicable for one load case at a time. In order to take this to hypergraph and view all of our results at once, what we can do is open the free body force tool Let's select all of our free body sections, control A. Select all of our load cases, control A. And then here under our uh, tables, we'll click summary table. After this has created the summations, we'll click OK, and then take our results to the potato VMT plot. The table prepared by the Free Body Forces tool is Free Body Summary. Let's write this out to GFM FBD dot FBD. All right, let's take this over to Hypergraph. I'll split my window, activate the right window, and then go full screen. Let's adjust our client to hypergraph. We'll import our results. For my X source, I'll plot along the X component. And for my Y, I will grab all of my load cases and plot FZ. So there we have it. This is our VMT for the structure showing all of the load cases in the model.